All right, have you ever looked at your makeup collection, especially if you're a makeup lover like me, to where it's constant makeup coming up and it just piles and piles and piles and you're like, ooh, I need to declutter some. Well, today's declutter is gonna be mostly eyeshadow palettes and I even have some more that could fit in this bag. So, if you're interested in finding out what palettes I'm actually decluttering, why, reasons, and uh, <laughs> kind of, uh, Embarrassed to say some of these are <clears throat> expired. Thank you, watch my dears. Keep watching. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dears, and thank you so much for pushing the little play button. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering why did I film last week? Well. <laughs> Well, with the Labor Day holiday and weather, Texas have been having quite a bit of rain, and I've been outside. Yeah, yeah, just couldn't, it just couldn't be that, just that, uh, just couldn't happen. My apologies. But, I'm here today. Yay! Now, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Many people have done it. I personally haven't done, which is basically a declutter, because I will be moving in about a month. Yeah, about a month or so. So pretty soon I won't be filming all excited anymore, my dears. I know, I'm excited too. I'm excited. So I've gone into my makeup collection and I'm sure you guys know the feeling of moving. We have a lot more stuff than we can imagine. So I'm like, let me start with my makeup collection. Because there are some palettes I just haven't used in a very long time. And others <laughs> sadly expired. <laughs> so let me go ahead and try to um, declutter. Yeah. So before I begin, I just want to remind you, please consider subscribing and remember to push the little notification bell because it will let you know when my videos are up and loaded, my dears. Mm -hmm. And remember to follow me on all of my social medias on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and even Snapchat. And they all have the exact same handle at any plus singer as well as my IMDb page, Amy Lopez. So for no further ado, let's dive into all these <laughs> palettes to wear um it all has to go away and make room for the new upcoming stuff. So, let's get to it, shall we? Let's get my ears. Now, right now, it is morning, 7, I'm looking at my phone, 7, 30 in the morning. Monday, morning. Yeah. If you're wondering what I'm having, I'm having a Starbucks pumpkin spice. Yes, pumpkin, my ears. And um, I've never tried it before. I mix it in with my creamer, non-dairy, by the way, from Starbucks. <laughs> Shocking in my coconut milk. You can't really taste a lot of the pumpkin spice. It's very, very light. I'm never gonna buy it again. It was a good experience. At least I can try. I'm gonna go back to my cinnamon dulce, but eh, try it. It's okay, but it's not like blowing me out of the water. All right, my dears. Let's dive into this bag because I have quite a bit of uh, loves, dislikes, expired, and all these has to go. Especially since you know new items come out, I'm trying to try to be conscious and use all of my palettes. And if you're wondering, yes, I still am working a corporate job due to this whole COVID situation. Except I'm lucky enough to work from home, and so yes, I still apply my makeup in the morning because this is my mom makeup therapy relaxation. I know you're probably like, woman, hush. What are you decluttering now? Just a little disclaimer here, a lot of the time people say if you're going to declutter or you're going to give it to a lot of the women's shelters or a lot of the places that are fortunate enough to get makeup, especially since I do a lot of high-end due to that's just what I like a lot better, is um, these are not going to work because a lot of these, like I said, are expired and I'm not, I'm going to feel horrible to give someone an expired makeup and then they have an allergic reaction. So that's not going to work. And then others have been used and a lot of people are not going to take these so mine doesn't qualify just a little fyi just in case you didn't know but if you're curious about those shelters that take makeup i'm going to try to find all of them and put them down in the description below if you are interested in texas area Woo! it's morning my voice doesn't want to hmm. now things are going to be quite random i'm just going to pull palettes out and let you know my thoughts oh and also i done videos with all of these palettes so I'm gonna go into my actual video and all the ones that I've used these palettes I'm gonna put them all in the description below as much of these as much as I can because YouTube only gives you a certain amount that you're allowed to so I'm gonna put all the palettes that I'm decluttering 
and um, all the videos I've done as much as I can. So we'll let you know. And I do have a playlist just in case you're interested. Let's start with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes because I love their pigmentation, their cute packaging, the velvet. Love. This is the Modern Renaissance. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, my dears. All time. I know. Big claim. This is how much I've used. Basically, all of them. The only ones I didn't use all that much is Red Ochre, Cypress Umber, and Golden Ochre. Everything else is basically, you could say, I, I used it up. It was quite loved, as you can tell. Now, because it's nice and reds and richness and warmth, this is my yummy palette. Love it. It's yummy. That's why I'm calling it yummy. Hashtag yummy. But I have to declutter this one because, well, one, as you can tell, a lot of declutters are done, and apparently I was in love with my better, apparently. <laughs> it, it is expired because in case you don't know a lot of these palettes have the expiration in the back. Do that. These are powder. I like to call them suggestions but one of the ways you know your palettes are expired is one like the this like I went ahead and retried it. It doesn't perform like it used to. It doesn't blend as well. It looks weird. You can have allergic reactions. I'll get to that in one other palette. It's not how it used to be so this has to go like this shelf life is supposedly six months yeah I've used this a lot longer than six months yeah a couple years so I have used this palette quite a bit absolutely love it will I repurchase this in the future possibly possibly but this is just expired and um, no longer performs like it used to so unfortunately this one has to go palette I have to declutter and has to get away from my collection unfortunately. It's another Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Norena palette. It has that lovely velvet packaging. Some people don't love it. I love velvet stuff so I can't really help that. The expiration for this one's a little bit longer than the modern renaissance. This is 18 months. Only I think it was last week I wanted to try this palette again just to see how it looks like. My apologies, I need coffee. Because even though I work from home, I love makeup pens while I have a makeup channel. I slash music, I will have more of that later on. Mostly towards probably the end of the year or next year because things are delayed due to COVID. So, you know, I'm, I hope you understand. The Norvino palette is mostly a purple palette. Now, I do have quite a bit of purple palettes in the house. The Makuta, Urban Decay, Too Faced, I believe. Yeah. So, I, it's not like I'm poor on purple palettes. I love this palette though. The shimmers, the mattes, but um, as you can tell, it, it doesn't look like I used it much. Like I have the attitude now to where I'm trying to use up my products and go to the next one or if one day I'm in a purple mood or whatever, grab it. But I tried it last week. I had an allergic reaction. My eyes started to burn a little bit. It didn't perform the way it used to anyway. Even a lot of these colors wasn't as pigmented or as strong as it used to be. It got very, very light. And I could have worked with the very light, to be honest with you. I could have because it's the Norvina palette. But the burning sensation on my skin, I couldn't deal with that. So that tells me this is expired. So unfortunately, this has got to go away. Before I keep repeating myself every 10 seconds, will I just be repurchases? Possibly. But with so many new makeup launches going on, new things I want to try, it may or may not. But the good part is I have done video with these and they're all on my channel, my dears. I love it's just expired. The next thing I went ahead and uh, I'm going to be decluttering is the Kathleen Lights Plus Morphe Collaboration. This came out quite a bit of years ago. Yes, my dears. And basically, it's, it's lightly loved. Slightly loved. As you can tell, nothing's really hit pan. Like this one maybe it wants to, maybe that one as well. But nothing's really hit pan pan as you can tell. And I like this palette. I really do. Issue. I had an allergic reaction. Now, the expiration for this one, actually, to be honest, I can't tell you. It doesn't tell you when it expires. I thought products had to tell you when it expired. Anyways, my point is... I'm thinking it's expired because I did try these because I did retry a lot of these palettes again before I would declutter them because makeup's expensive, my dears. I guess it, it's um it's expensive, as you know. Performed okay, not like it used to, but my eyes burned. And um I don't want to give myself pink eye or uh you know, skin burning sensations. So 
I like this palette. I don't believe they make this palette anymore, but uh, I love Kathleen Lights. I do watch her every week, so she may not. But if Kathleen's watching this, hi, love you. But uh, it's expired. It's, I'm pretty sure it's one of the requirements that fall under expired allergy reaction. So this, unfortunately, is gonna have to go. The next palette that has to go away from my collection, my dears, is from Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever Professional slash Paris. This is a nine artist shadow palette. This expiration is, well, it was made in Italy, so that's fascinating. Yeah, this one as well doesn't tell me uh, when it expires. But this is a much older palette. I believe I got this palette once I started getting interested in makeup. It's been a couple of years. And I got this palette because this is the version two. It's very colorful. All of this is shimmer. I'm pretty sure this is expired. But I did not try this palette. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I did not retry this palette. But the thing is, a lot of these have pops of colors. And I do already have palettes that I'm keeping that have a lot of pop of colors. Because I love color. I really do. This is not something I gravitate for. Like, if you look at this, nothing's hitting pan. There's nothing over to where something's going to go away. It just sits there. And I'm not going to use something that is just going to sit there. I'm trying to use up all the products that I have. Plus two, I've had this for an extremely long time. And if it's something I'm not grabbing towards, why am I keeping it? Because I'm not one of those YouTubers that have like shelves and shelves where I can pack all of my palettes somewhere and drawers of concealer. Yeah, I don't have that. I have a small little drawer situation. So I have to be very careful about what I have and very particular. So this, not that it's bad. And I love makeup forever. It's just Nothing I gravitates towards. If that has some mattes and stuff perhaps, but it's all literally sh shimmer. Like this is my favorite color right here. And you see how it has that lovely color. I mean, it's just lovely. And even this pink and this. It has the pigmentation. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, but I just don't gravitate towards this palette like at all. So it just has to go. Now my dears. This next palette, I got it in a boxy charm, and I know this one is not that old, I don't think. I'm putting the years of all these palettes, so huh, will it, it will let you know how old something is? Yeah. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. This is supposed to be a, you know, hence face palette, and this one actually does tell you how long it is, six months. Yeah, so according to them, it's expired, but like I mentioned earlier, suggestion. If you can tell from this color story, I really haven't used it. I used it once or twice. Once in the video, I believe, like I said, I think it was the boxy jar. I'm hoping I'm thinking correctly. If not, my point is I have used it on camera. This is supposed to be a face palette. All these on this side, that blush, that highlighter, even this bronzer, and even that little plum that you can use as that shadow or, or even blush if you have rich skin, that would be beautiful. The problem with this side is that it's extremely shimmery. I don't know about you, but I don't want to look that shimmery on my face. Like even right now, I do have a little bit of shimmer with the dark bronzer and I mixed it in. But it's a slight. It's not like BAM in your face, you know. This is really BAM in your face and you're just glittery, my dears. No matter how much you uh, blend, you're going to be glittery. So this isn't ideal for me. This would be more like maybe eyeshadow. But even with that, it doesn't blend all too well. This side, the colors, they're not, let me see, like say this purple, for instance. You see how it, it comes out very muddy? This is very muddy. This is very shimmery. It's not my ideal palette. I would basically classify this as being horrible. And I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my collection usable. And I'm also moving, so I'm trying to lower down as much stuff as I have, as I can. And I'm going to keep getting makeup products is I do BoxyCharm and new products catch my eye and launches so um, I'm trying to be very very strict and this unfortunately doesn't make the cut muddy and shimmery doesn't work for me and for our face palette I just don't see it as that so it's gone the next palette that I'm going to be decluttering is from Pretty Vulgar this is the Nightingale eyeshadow palette now I do love the packaging I'm kind of sad because you know it has a beautiful bird there and it's just like you can feel it oh the embroidery is absolutely beautiful and this is basically how it looks like inside like as you can tell I do a fantastic job of uh, getting rid of these and it's a beautiful palette the thing about this palette is that it's extremely cool tone like at first when I first started using this palette it was very muddy and I, I didn't like it but then I kind of learned and I do have a video of a nice cool look that I did with this palette that I really like like I said everything will be down in the description below it's really nice 
nice. But I don't gravitate towards this. I'm not a cool tone type of gal. Like, recently I did do a cool tone with the I Love Lucy palette. I had to really dig into those because my soul doesn't go towards cool. It just, it just doesn't, my dears. I'm into warm. This, unfortunately, is not expired. This is 12 months. Or maybe it is. Like I said, I'm putting the year that I'm putting everything up here, so I can't remember exactly if this expired or not. Like I said, I did not retry this recently. It's just I'm getting rid of it because it's not something I gravitate towards. And I can't keep something that I'm not using, you know. Pretty packaging, but I, I kind of have to stop looking at the packaging. And it's the product inside usable for me. And this one, unfortunately, it's a no. The next palette that's unfortunately going to be going bye-bye is from Marc Jacobs. I love the case. You can open it. It has a cute little mirror here and it has all of these shades here. Now these shades are absolutely beautiful, but I got this years ago, my dears, years ago, because I was just starting in makeup and I wanted to have a travel palette that I could bring along with me. Now I have tons of travel palettes, so I don't really need this. This bronzer is absolutely beautiful, my dears, beautiful. And I do love that in a bigger palette. Now this has to go because I've had it way too long. It doesn't perform like it used to, so that's basically where this goes. This is also expired, and I can't continue having expired makeup. I know, I'm like, a hey, keep saying the same thing. But I do love the little case, so I'm actually going to try to see if I can get this out and maybe use this for something else or maybe create my own little palette, I don't know. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get this one out because I do love the outer thing. I could use it for something, but the shadows has to go. I love the mirror though, so this is gonna go. Hopefully I can get it out. Yeah, Marc Jacobs is just, I've had it too long. This was only supposed to be for 12 months. I can guarantee it's been longer than 12 months. Yeah. The next palette I'm getting rid of is from Urban Decay. Now, if you guys are into makeup, this is old. This is extremely old. Like, this is supposed to be for 12 months. It's been longer than 12 months. This is what it looks like. like I love the packaging. I think, honestly, that's one of the reasons I bought it and it's magnetic. I love it. And it still works. Like I said, I love the packaging, but these colors here are all shimmer. There's no mattes, there's nothing to hang it on. Now, apparently I had a love for this Yordello, Urdu, and this blue one, which is Moon Shadow. The rest, I've used it, but like little dabs, I believe. I haven't gravitated towards this, as you can tell. It's been a very long time since I've actually used this palette, and if I want pops of color, I do steal palettes that are um, colorful and pops. But I want some purple. I have it. Black. What do you call it? This picture right over here, I can't think of it. Pigments, I think it's called. If I want pink. I have blues in it. I have so many different ways around things. I have golds. I have, yeah, I don't gravitate towards this. I have an orange, like, mini eyeshadows that I was looking at. So, I'm not grabbing towards this. Like, I've gotten to a point to where I'm into shimmer, I'm into glitter, and I will use those, my dears. As you can tell, I have some on my face today. But I need some matte to anchor, or else I'm pulling from other palettes. And not only is this just not something I'm really gravitating towards, or I haven't used in a long time, and I have other palettes that I can use for uh, accessibility, but uh, it's inspired. And last but not least, this I think was one of the first makeup stuff I had when I was just dabbing into makeup is from Profusion. I got fooled by the packaging. I love the packaging. And I have used this a handful of times over the years. And this is only supposed to be used for 24 months, which is good, but I can guarantee it's been longer than 24 months, my dears. And I bought it because it's supposedly shimmers. So if you see a lot of the patterns that I have here, a lot of the stuff, I'm, or maybe like two or three of the stuff, is mostly shimmers, which would be the Urban Decay, the Makeup Forever. Yeah. Uh, it has nothing to anchor it and I do have other palettes that have mattes in it to where I can just grab and put it on my lid This has nothing to anchor it with and it's just expired and I have used it before and it has irritated Apparently I've used this like pink one. I have to like pull it up so What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna keep the packaging because you know, I love the packaging Maybe I could put business cards and stuff like that, you know, not throw away the part that I like just like the Marc Jacob trying to get you know, those eyeshadows out, wish me luck. But uh, these eyeshadows are just not usable, They're, they don't perform as they used to, and it's all shimmer. I mean, yeah. Oh, all right, my dears, and that's basically all the palettes I'm literally decluttering. As you can tell, the majority of these have been expired, 
or they cause me an allergic reaction, or I just don't gravitate towards, so they need to get out of my collection and make room for the new, my dears. Make room for the new. So, if you like this type of video, please let me know. Comment below. Let me know if you still have some of these palettes and if you're just as guilty as me as having <clears throat> expired eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, like I said, my definition of expired, not just because of the date in the back, but it doesn't before, or you get an allergic reaction, because I don't know about you, but I don't want pink eyes. So, especially with this um, pandemic going around, we really don't want to be sick right now. Really don't. So, if you have any more ideas of the kind of videos you want me to post, please let me know, comment below, and I will put it on my list, because I actually do have a list, my dears. As of right now, due to the situation, I'm posting one time a week, but I plan whenever I move, maybe two, three times a week, maybe up it. I gotta see how my schedule works. It's just filming outside. It gets a little bit harder, so, because I'm depending on weather. So, thank you so much, and uh, like I said, all these palettes, I'm gonna put down in the description below along with the videos that I have used all of these palettes for because I have used all of them, my dears, on camera. I really have. Please let me know below. Give me a like, share my videos, and remember, consider subscribing. One last thing, right before you leave, be safe, be kind, be careful. Like seriously, especially now with this whole pandemic situation, be careful. I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you in my next video. See you soon.